The simple interest earned on a sum of rupees 3000 in two years is rupees 20 more than on rupees 2500 for the same period at the same rate of interest. If a person is getting an interest of rupees 2000 to 80 on the same rate of interest and time period which is thrice of the rate of interest, then what is the amount he has invested? Right? So basically, he says uh, the simple interest on rupees 3000 for two years is 20 more than the simple interest on rupees 2500 for the same period, which means same two years, right? And at the same rate of interest. Okay. Then we have to find out that what was the amount invested if this person gets rupees 2280 as the interest on the same rate of interest whatever is being used in the earlier part of the question and a time period which is thrice of the rate of interest so time period should be three times the rate of interest so basically for you to solve this question you must find out what this rate of interest is once you get to know the rate of interest you can also find out the time period three times the rate of interest so you know the rate of interest time period and the interest amount you can find out the amount that he has invested okay now how do we get the rate of interest from the first part of the question see on 3000 in two years and 2500 in the same period at the same rate of interest so basically you can say that simple interest in the first part right si uh, let's say si on 3000 how much is that simple interest will be how much p into t into r by 100 so 3000 into 2 into r by 100 simple interest on 2.5k right the other amount is 2.5k how much is that 2500 into 2 because it says same rate of interest and same time period divided by 100 the difference between these two values is how much 20 so you can say simple interest of 3k minus simple interest of 2.5k equals to 20 right but instead of doing all this like like the next step would be si of 3k minus si of 2.5k equals to 20 now substitute the values right i mean of course the zeros here get cancelled so 13 to 2, 13 to is how much? 60 R, 60 times R minus 25 into 2, 50 times R equals to 20. So 60 R minus 50 R equals to 20 means what? 10 R is 20 or R is equal to 2. So we have found the rate of interest. I mean the most important part of the question, right? Rate of interest is 2, which is 2 percentage per annum. That's it. Now you know the rate of interest 2 percentage per annum. Time period will be 3 times of rate of interest. The new interest amount is given to us. We have to find out the principal amount. But before we do that, let me tell you that you can avoid all this lengthy process. Right? Instead of doing all this drama, you simply understand that in case 1, the principal is 3000. In case 2, the principal is 2500. Because the same rate of interest and same time period is being used in both the cases, instead of taking the difference uh, of interest as rupees 20, I can simply say that the interest on 500 rupees. See, you just take the difference of these principles. 3000 rupees is one principle, 2500 is other principle. What is the difference of these two principles? 500 rupees. So, indirectly, in the first part of the question, it is given that simple interest on 500 rupees. Simple interest on 500 rupees is equal to 20. Because we are taking the difference of principles. The difference of principles will give you the difference in the interest. Remember, the condition is that the same rate of interest and same period is being used. So, instead of doing these 2-3 steps, you can simply say that simple interest for 500 rupees is 20. For what period? For 2 years period. Right? Are you able to follow? Simple interest on 500 rupees is 20. For how many years? For 2 years. Now, do the calculation. See, you know that SI equals to PTR by 100, right? So, 200 equals to P. P is how much? 500. Into T is 2. Into R by 100. So, simplify this. What happens? R will be equal to 200 by 5 into 2, 10. 200 by 10. Sorry, this is 20. I'm sorry. The difference is 20. I have taken 200. So, R will be equal to what? 20 by 10, which is 2. So, we get R equals to 2 percentage. So, look at the difference. I mean, here we are writing 2, 3 steps. Here in single step, you will get the answer. Right? In fact, even this is not needed. If you know how to calculate simple interest in a smart way, even without writing this step, you can find out the answer. How do we do that? We know that simple interest for 500 rupees is 20. For how many years? For 2 years. For 2 years if it is 20, for 1 year it will be 10. Because simple interest is equal every year. Right? So you can simply divide by 2 to get the interest of first year. So for 2 years if it is 20 rupees, for 1 year the simple interest will be 10 rupees. 10 is what percentage of 500? See 500 is the principal amount. So 10 is what percentage of 500? 2% of 500. Which means the rate of interest is 2%. So the point that I am trying to make is there are a number of ways in which you can find out the rate of interest. Now you have to be smart enough to use the 
easiest method possible and in the least time consuming, right? I'm sure this nobody likes, right? The first part nobody likes, right? Just do it this way. And this also try to avoid, do the calculation mentally. All right, so I hope most of you have followed this method rather than the first one here. Now look at the actual part of the question. Rate of interest is two, right? Two percentage. What is time period? Time period is three times the R, thrice the rate of interest, which means six. Six years, of course, right? You cannot say six percentage. The magnitude is three times. The units will be years only, right? Six years. And what is the interest? Simple interest is 2,280. SI equals to 2,280. He's asking us to find out the principal amount. So you see, rate of interest is given, time period is given, simple interest is given. Find out the principal. Now do it in a smart way. Don't use the formula, right? Formula is for kids. We are smart people, right? We'll use percentages method. What do we do? In each year, if you get 2 percentage, how much will you get in 6 years? 12 percentage. Yes or no? Per year, I am going to get 2 percent of interest. So in 6 years, how much will I get? 12 percent. How much did I actually get? 2,280. So can you say 12 percent is equal to 2,280? Yes. What are we supposed to find out? Principal. You know that principal is always 100 percentage. 100 percentage is equal to what? If 12 percent is 2,080, 2,280, 100 percent equals to what? Cross multiply, you will get the answer as 19,000, right? This is 2,280 into 100 divided by 12. So if you see, this can be taken as 2,400 minus 120. So 2,400 is 200 times, 120 is 10 times, 200 minus 10 is 190, right? So this goes 190 times basically. Again, calculations are your lookout, right? Don't try to follow what I'm doing, do it yourself. So 190 into 100, 19,000, option 4 will be the answer, right?